All right, today we're going to be talking about the base protocol again. I have something I want to bring to you. First of all, base has officially launched. It launched yesterday. I got in at base at 31 cents. I got out at a dollar five. It actually went up to a dollar 40 at some point. So I think that's a 300% gain on the allocation of the tokens that I had. I got in on a pre sale. I got in at 31 cents. The price got uh, launched at around 57, 58 cents. If you want to find out how I got in on the pre sale, I'm going to be teaching that in our Crypto Passive Profits course. Go down in the description, subscribe to the course. Later this month, I'll put a video out. I'm going to be talking about that entire process, how I find out about pre sale tokens, how I invest in those tokens, the whole nine yards. So you don't want to miss that. Go down in the description, subscribe to our Crypto Passive Profits newsletter. Now, I want to talk about the base token now that it's launched. I want to explain a little bit about rebasing because it's the one thing that hangs people up. They simply just don't understand it. Now, today, I'm not going to talk about exactly what base is i have an entire playlist on my channel if you want to understand base i encourage you to watch that playlist i talk about four ways to be able to profit trading base i talk about what is base i talk about rebasing i'm going to explain the rebasing a little bit differently now I'll give you an example hopefully that will help you understand it even better and i also have a video about the cascade function which is a passive reward system connected to base it is very unique it is similar to other cascades that exist in crypto but it has its own unique spin that makes it self-sustaining could be a, a lucrative passive investment long term potentially you want to understand that also on that playlist i have a video where i have a full i think it's about an hour and 20 minute hour and a half video that i do with the co-founder of base you want to watch that video base is a project you should be aware of you should definitely be paying attention to what they're doing base in short is essentially an index fund like s p index over the entire coin market cap the goal of base or the target base price is by using the rebasing mechanism which is what we're going to explain in this video most people think they understand rebasing and unfortunately look just by reading the telegram it's easy to see that most people still don't understand rebase so i'm going to explain rebasing a little bit better in this video hopefully I want you to help you be able to wrap your brain around it so that way you can make an informed decision going forward and you can understand how people are able to profit from this because if you don't understand rebasing you're missing out on crazy opportunity so first and foremost the target base price is 57 cents currently however base is trading at 82 cents so that means that it's roughly you know almost 30 percent more and later today we'll probably see a, a rebase factor here it would probably be plus 30 percent what this means is if these numbers stay the same whatever percentage that is we'll just say 30 percent to keep it round at the time of rebasing there'll be 30 percent more tokens created now the fundamental misunderstanding when it comes to rebasing is that when those tokens are created that somehow they're suddenly the price suddenly drops 30 percent as well and but I want keep in mind I want you to understand that's not what happens all the rebasing function does it does not control price it creates a fundamental for the market or for us as traders to take advantage of so there's two things to understand here one is short-term profits in your wallet another another thing you want to understand is investing in the base network long term those are two different functions and they're counterintuitive to one another so stick with me. If a 30% rebase occurs, what that will mean is that you will have 30% right now. Let's just say you have 100 tokens and there's a 30% rebase. You're going to get 30% more tokens. However, before the rebase, you'll have 100 tokens valued at 82 cents if this price was if the rebase was happening now. As soon as the rebase happens, you will have 130 tokens valued at 82 cents. You heard that correct. People are not understanding this. That means that you literally will get an instant 30% return in that moment and that second. Now, the fundamental factor here is at this moment, people are willing to overpay. At 82 cents right now, people are not selling there's no way to get down to the target price right now because people are not willing to sell so when you increase supply it decreases demand which would lower the price in other words some people aren't willing to sell now but if they've got instantly 30 percent more tokens they would start selling so the price fundamentally can move down if people choose to sell and granted some people will sell if they don't if enough people don't let's just say let's just say the price expands by the token supply expands by 30 percent 
And, but the price only comes down, you know, say, I don't know, another 10 cents at the next rebase. That means token supply will increase again based off whatever that percentage is. That will continue to happen until at some point because of people, they'll just keep increasing supply as long as the price is above the target rebase price, which again, this target rebase price is connected to coin market cap because base protocol pegs to the price of coin market cap. So they would keep re increasing supply each day as long as the price is above this target price. Over time, within a day or two or three or four, whatever, at some point people start selling. When they start selling, the price gets back down to 57 cents. They're selling for profits. Now, that's just a positive rebase. We'll cover a negative rebase in a moment. That's a positive rebase. As some, remember, I told you there's two ways to invest. One is to be able to earn profits today. And another is being able to invest long-term in the base protocol. Anytime that there's a positive rebase, supply is increasing by 30%. Supply increases by 10%. Supply increases by 5%. Anytime there's a positive rebase in supply, you are going to earn more money. You're going to have more tokens. As long as you don't sell tokens, you still hold, even though the price of your tokens may go down, you're getting more tokens and you still maintain the exact same percentage of the total network supply. But when you sell to take profit, you are lowering your supply. I hope that will explain why people are willing to not hold this price because people in Telegram are like, it's stupid. It doesn't make sense to buy it right now. That's not necessarily true. One reason to buy it at 82 cents right now is because you think that even when the rebase occurs, not enough people are going to sell. And you think that more people are going to come in because they want to buy up the network. So that's one reason to potentially buy right now. Now, fundamentally, that's more risky. Fundamentally, you know uh, supply is going to increase. But there's no guarantee when that supply increases that enough people are going to sell. I hope that's making sense to you. And then right now, we're only talking about a positive rebase. So let's talk about a negative rebase. A negative rebase is very similar. The price is supposed to be trading at 57 cents. And let's just say today, maybe today it increases by 30%. People overreact and they sell. And by tomorrow at the time of rebase, the price is 10%. Maybe it's down to like 52 or 51 cents. So it's 10% too low. When that happens, and by the way, historically, uh, on other rebase tokens, the price goes up far easier than it comes down. But let's just say that all of a sudden this thing is sitting at uh, 51 cents over here. The price is at 51 cents. It's, that's what it's trading for. At the time of rebase, what they will do is they will burn, say, 10% of the tokens. The goal is to get back in line with this. When they burn those tokens, it decreases supply, it increases demand. And keep in mind the price, we're assuming this price is actually 51 cents. So what will happen is it's easier every token you buy. Once 10% of the tokens have been burned, the price will still be at 51 cents. They'll just be 10% less tokens. So for every token that you buy, you're going to buy a larger percentage of the total supply or the total network. Keep in mind, as long as you're not selling, you're maintaining your position because even here's something else you need to understand. Even if you're holding those tokens in your MetaMask wallet, you still get more tokens. That's how elastic supplies work. It's across the entire network, even in your wallet. I know it sounds crazy. I don't understand the technicals behind it, the tech, the, the actual um, technology behind it, but that's how it works. So the reason that when, so again, rebasing, even a negative rebase doesn't change price. So the price is at 51 cents. There's a negative rebase. They burn that percentage of tokens. And the idea is it encourages people to buy tokens. And the number one reason that you buy them when they are cheaper is because you want a larger supply, a larger percentage of the network. So if you believe in base protocol long term, the safest strategy to invest in it is to buy in and then, I mean, even at 82 cents, because you, there's no guarantee that the price is going to go down. Buy in with a small amount. The way you do dollar cost average 
is you buy in with a small amount and then you wait for a rebase to occur when there's a negative rebase and you buy in again. And then you, you hold and you just hold it. And when there's a negative rebase, you buy in again. Because anytime you're buying, you're buying up a percentage. Anytime you're selling, anytime you're selling, even if you've been through several positive rebases and you decide to sell, you are decreasing your percentage of the total network or the total supply. I hope that's making sense to you. That's rebasing in a nutshell how it works. Again, rebasing in and of itself does nothing more than to change the current total supply. That's all rebasing does, either up or down. It does not directly affect price. It creates a fundamental factor, which is supply of the tokens, which encourages traders and investors to make decisions based off of game theory that should, in theory, keep this price pegged to this price. That's what makes it so incredible. There's no single individual who's actually able to control price or even control that fundamental. Anybody technically can trigger the rebase. I don't know how, but anybody can technically trigger the rebase. The Nick, the co-founder said that in my interview with him. If you want to watch the full playlist, I recommend I'll put it on the end screen. I recommend that you watch it. Base protocol is unique technology. Uh, re this, this rebasing is something that I didn't understand for the longest time. And once I, I understand it now, I find it truly extraordinary. The more adoption that we have with base protocol or any rebase token, the more efficient it will act. In this case, the more people that are trading, I make it sound like it's super simple. Like all of a sudden, oh, just wait for a 30% rebase. Then if you want to sell, you got instant profits. And in theory, that's correct. But the larger the market is, the less likely you are to be able to sell is the reality because everybody else is going to sell really fast. It, it'd be a very efficient market. And that's the ultimate goal of base protocol. The ultimate goal is that the market stays very, very, very efficient as more people adopt base protocol, as more people invest in it, as more people buy and hold the base tokens, as more people use the cascade. Um, I'll save that for another video when I actually go in and invest in the cascade. If you want to watch the full playlist, I'll put it on the end screen please, or put it down in the description. Please go ahead and watch that. If you haven't done so already, ladies and gentlemen, if you love learning about cryptocurrency and unique cryptocurrency projects that can allow you to profit in this space, make certain that you hit that subscribe button. Make certain that you hit that bell notification icon and click all and stay tuned. Remember, decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.